I am pleased to be joined now by the head coach of the Oklahoma State Cowboys, Mike Gundy. And Oklahoma State just continues to churn out these quality years. They're in the top 10 once again, undefeated once again. And coach, so good to be with you, man. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Big win last week in a rematch of last year's Big 12 championship game. And, and coach, you guys were able to get a big win. And that had to be a big statement for your locker room uh, to really believe in what you have this year. You know, every year is different. And it's interesting. I was a little unsure of how we would play down there. We have eight guys that play on defense, considerable uh, number of snaps that had not ever played a conference game. Uh, nor had played on the road. So uh, I was a little concerned about that. Last year we were so veteran and so mature on defense. Um, offensively, I had a pretty good idea of how we would play. And then special teams ended up being a big deal for us down there. We had, uh, I think, plus 170 in return yardage in the game and um, uh, down three punts inside the 10-yard line. So really it was a very evenly matched game, and special teams is where we found a way to win. You know, it's so interesting you talk about the the difference in in years because, and this is why I think you know. And, and listen, I'll I'll be the one that 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 like compliments you because you're not going to do it for yourself. But winning with different styles is very difficult to do, as you know. And last year, you guys were a defensive led team. You you talked about it. All those veterans, you guys were the best defense uh, statistically in the Big Twelve. This year, it's a little bit different. Maybe more of what you were used to maybe five and six years ago where you've got a really veteran offense and quarterback that could probably lead the conference in offense and a defense that you're trying to bring along, and yet you're able still to win games. What is it about you, your staff, and this program that allows you to win different ways year to year? We, we've been very fortunate. Uh, the large majority of the, the coaches, administrative people that are in this organization have been um, with us, with me for a long time. Um, our coaches stay here. They like living here. They're comfortable. That continuity that we have with our players, we have a pretty good feel for the guys that we want to recruit based on our systems, based on the culture that we have here. And we've been very fortunate that we've hit on enough good players uh, that can make big plays on both sides of the ball and in special teams. And then we have really quality young men that play hard. Uh, they love Oklahoma State. They love to be a part of our culture. And uh, the, just the consistency of not trying to get out of our box. Uh, Joel, I, I think sometimes young coaches get pushed into a corner where uh, they hit a panic mode and they might change the style of offense, change the defense, um, terminology, sometimes even a coaching pattern. And um, obviously, I've, I've got a lot to learn, but uh, I figured out a long time ago that the consistency with the players gives you the best chance to make small adjustments. And then coaches are responsible for understanding who we are and what, what are our strengths and, yeah. and uh, where do we struggle, where are we immature. And once we can accomplish that, I think we're a better team. Well, you know, it's interesting you bring that up uh, because – Listen, I've I've seen I competed against you. You know, your first year at Oklahoma State was mm -hmm. was my senior year, you know, playing at Colorado. Right. And I've seen the entire evolution of your program. You know, when we played against you in 2005 in Stillwater, you guys were still playing in that erector set. You know, you hadn't done all the 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 foundational things from a building up the program from a facility standpoint. And coach, I would even say about Five, six years ago, I think you made a real distinction and commitment to, to being like, uh, you weren't going to go for any other jobs. You were going to say, this is who I am. This is who our program is. It might have been even earlier than this. I commend you on that because I agree with you. I think young coaches chase things that they aren't all the time. And I feel like your program and you in particular have a very firm sense of who you are, how you're going to win, and how you're going to go about your business. You know, that game you're talking about, you guys, the first play of the game, you ran a power play for a touchdown. Uh, you, you went 76 yards, first play of the game. And, That's true. Um, I, had the stomach flu, I had the stomach flu for two days, uh, and it was throwing up at halftime. Uh, and I don't know if it was the flu or watching, uh, watching us in the first half. But uh, you, you know what, what, what's interesting, um, you know, when, when you talk about that is uh, I, I think the most important thing is, is to kind of come to grips with, with who you are 
And, um, you know, there was times, Joel, that I thought about maybe I wanted another opportunity. Uh, maybe I wanted another challenge. Could I, could I start over at another school and, and build the program the same way I did at Oklahoma State? And then I finally settled in and realized this is kind of who I am. Um, I, I've got players that come back now from, you know, I'm going on my 19th year here in a few months. Yeah. And uh, they're coming back and they're bringing their kids into our camp. And so um, I've been very, very fortunate. I'm just, you know, proud of what we, we've been able to accomplish here and proud for the players. And, you know, I have a new president now that's in her, se- her second year and a new athletic director in her second year. And it's kind of some new fresh blood and everybody's hungry. So times couldn't be better for us now at Oklahoma State. Uh, Coach, uh, quickly here in, in, in 20 seconds, how well is Spencer Sanders playing and, and what does he mean to your program? Well, you know, playing the position, he's so mature now. He's mastered our offense. So there's very few times that we give him a play that he doesn't get the ball in whoever's hands it needs to get into. And when that happens, you're going to have success. He just understands what to do with the football. Our offense is very simple except for the quarterback. Mm -hmm. Quarterback's very difficult. Once you master that and you get it, we can roll on offense. And we've been very proud of him. He's been a competitor and a fighter. He's going to go down as arguably the best quarterback in the history here. Um, I think he's going to play in the NFL someday. Well, he's he's certainly you know been fantastic. In fact, you guys are thirteen and one over the last couple of years when he turns it over one or fewer times. So he holds on to the ball. You guys generally win. Coach, I appreciate your time, man. I love uh, chatting with you. Best of luck. Hopefully, we see you down the road here. You bet, Joe, and I appreciate you guys. Thanks for all you do for college football. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here from game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here college football on fox